Hello and welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Market Commentary for Thursday, December the 8th. My name is Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal for my commentary on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these daily market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. We're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios, and therefore what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. Having that out of the way, let's get this on. Not a whole lot of economic data today uh, across the pond. We, we do have a, an Italian bank holiday. We did get French non-farm payrolls came in line with expectations at 0.3%. Uh, and here in the United States, we had, uh, oh, actually overseas, we did have the ECB press conference, which uh, didn't really amount to a whole lot. But here in the United States, we got unemployment claims coming in line with expectations at 258,000. Uh, and natural gas storages came in at a drawdown of 52 billion cubic feet was expected to be a drawdown of 44 billion cubic feet. Uh, anyway, on to the overall markets. As you can see, crude oil pushing back above that $50 a barrel area, trading at $50.67. Uh, hasn't quite retraced all of yesterday's losses, but it has done all it can, being up almost a dollar right now to try and retrace some of that. thought we were going to see a little bit more of a... Uh, continuation today, but uh, it's still an inside day, as you can see from yesterday's candlestick. It's just an inside day from yesterday, despite the fact that we're up almost a dollar there. Uh, on to gold futures, again, trending sideways, continues to test that nine-day moving average, which is continuing the downtrend in that uh, in gold futures, but again, still sideways trending and continuing to test that. On to the bonds. Bonds down quite nicely today, down over a point and a half ahead of next week's Fed FOMC meetings. Uh, I think they will probably see this continue to go sideways as well. I uh, don't really see it making a whole lot of move. It's pretty much priced in a rate hike for that meeting. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, again, we're going to be talking about this, uh, another historical uh, high point in the market today, uh, but the market only up about a dollar right now. Just a really quiet day uh, for a Thursday. NASDAQ leading the way to the upside, uh, up 16, almost 17 points right now. It hasn't seen that move higher and like the rest of the equities that we've seen as we're still seeing downward pressure or a little bit of uh, pullback from the tech sector as people are moving into the small caps still and the uh, blue chips. E-mini S&Ps, again, up, but only up four points on the day. Like I said, NASDAQ leading the way to the upside, uh, but the E-mini S&Ps, a historical high again today. Uh, now on to the Breakdown 15 minute chart of the mini S&Ps, not a whole lot happening as we rallied really hard yesterday in the day, just not much of a pullback at all. The market was just screaming higher throughout the day. Today we're seeing a bit of a consolidation going on right now uh, and pretty tight range for all intents and purposes. Now uh, on to on my trades, uh, as you can see, Lululemon did not work out very well. I'm holding on to this uh, right now. If you remember, with Lululemon, I have on a strangle that I did for the earnings. It actually expires tomorrow. And uh, so my short 65 calls are deep in the money right now. So it's a pretty big loser. So I'm going to make this decision. It's continued to sell off. So probably going to hold on to this trade until tomorrow and then I might even just take those calls and become short Lulu lemon stock and then lower my basis on that by continuing to uh, do several strategies around that like I did with uh, Target and things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to be looking 
to lower my basis on that, but I'll probably end up taking that as a short position if things don't work out. If I can get it closer to that 65 strike by tomorrow, which probably isn't looking that likely, uh, I'll be short the Lululemon stock and try and lower some of my cost basis on that. So um, that's about all I've got going on today. Uh, Friday's webinar tomorrow is going to be on the di uh, put diagonals, so you can sign up for that. Go to protraderstrategies.com, and uh, the more the merrier. It's going to be a great strategy, especially for right after these earnings events. We can take advantage of the implied volatility expanding on those uh, puts that we are going to have for that earnings season. So I'm going to be going through all those rules and how to set that up with implied volatility and take advantage of theta decay to help finance some of those puts that we're going to be getting along. All right. So go to protraderstrategies.com. That's all I got for you today. If you can't take that, take it easy.